wrestler movie thoughts. I quite like the relationship between Randy and the prostitute, the, the dancer. The bit about how, you know, he wants to date her and then, you know, she points out, you see me as a stripper. It's again that theme of what is reality and what is imagination. He doesn't think of her as a full person. He just doesn't realize it himself. He comes to her for, you know, gratification, and he mistakes that for a basis for a relationship. You know, she does care about him, she wants to be his friend, but, you know, she's very smart about the policy of not dating clients. You know, you have to keep those two separate. The relationship between Randy and Stephanie is just heartbreaking. Every scene with them, you know, it gets progressively more painful, but at the last one, you're just... You know, you gotta have a heart of stone if that doesn't get to you the way it... I thought it was interesting how there are some hints that maybe Stephanie is a lesbian, and the the fact that Randy doesn't seem to realize this at all, it kind of, you know, parallels our confusion over, you know, it's again, you know, what is real and what is imagination. Seeing Randy break down at the low-wage, crappy job, you know, you can really understand it. I mean, he, the stuff he does is even, like, right out of wrestling. Even I know that with my, you know, the clothesline thing to, you know, knock all the stuff off the shelf. And, you know, one could argue that even talking back to his employer like that is somewhat like wrestling, you know, the, the macho-ism of it. I think the ending is pretty much the exact way they should do something like that. I mean, first we have, you know, she, the, the dancer shows up and she's, you know, trying to convince him you know, this is, you, you can't do this. You literally won't live through this. And he hears the cheer and, you know, he just, he's convinced that that is the only way, that is the only place he belongs, in the ring. And after this quite effectively done fight, he looks and she's gone. And you can understand her because she can't support something like that. She can't, you know, if he's going to kill himself, it's probably better for her to just extricate her from the situation right here and now rather than, you know, it could be months. And if he's going to keep doing that and just kill himself, yeah. And he kind of has the realization that's like the door is now closed. He can't return to the rest of the world. He is now forever stuck in the ring. And we don't know if he does survive the move that he pulls there at the end. We don't know if he you know, gets it exactly right, or if it does kill him. But it is interesting to note that the silence on the fate to black is exactly like with the first heart attack. So maybe he does have another heart attack. Maybe he doesn't. 
I think the ambiguousness is really great and yet another of Aronofsky's strengths.